You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine. Your choice. Are you crazy? What you wanna do? Let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that. He wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This place won't be open enough for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car. Quick! This guy's a maniac. We gotta take him down. And four. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... That was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you?
This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Toms. And if they think Carlo sent us, I don't mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sound like I'm ready. You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be in your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. All right. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got to come from that. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Uh, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other one. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay. In pursuit of a speeding hey, vehicle. Did you see Eddie later? Not a word Stop about that. yesterday. He was never there. Last chick we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? You think I am some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all.
Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Head over to Greenfield. Okay. So how can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's got to be clean, and it's got to be done today. Why the hell didn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and they just found him. They are afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's going to disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. The guy's got to come and go with him. Wait If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Uh, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other one. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it In is. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Okay. Copy okay. that. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chick we saw was delivering egg food young. Get it? Yeah, who do you think I am? Some kind of retard. Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, it's about six feet tall. Fuck him. He's a bill. This guy's over there. Shit. Go, go. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. This is Agent Cox. We need police support in Greenfield. Now, goddammit. Those were feds. That asshole really wasn't. He's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Eddie, ding, 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 ding
Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. See you later. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. 
Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll f I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. Fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. Well, I know how many of them there is. Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just that. What are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us... Pull like your you voice did, now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. You don't want no trouble. Don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? I your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth. Right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. Father, Derek. Are you not so what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We've known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all well, the things. Were you thing. all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. We shouldn't be doing this. We don't can handle inside. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow it's me, crazy. guys. Crazy. You shouldn't be doing this. These open hunger. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, this guys. This is crazy. We shouldn't be doing this. This all can handle himself. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. Crazy, guys. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower we can do. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. But there was death also to resolve my problem.
Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. About the cops. Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw it will swear we did it in self defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help you all. 